Hey, what up everybody? This is Stevie Breach coming to you here today. Um, I don't know if many people saw this. I, I tweeted about it. I thought that it was one of the most uplifting things um, that happened uh, during the Daniel Bryan retirement speech. I think anybody out there who is a, a Daniel Bryan fan uh, got a little misty-eyed um, seeing Daniel Bryan uh, say that this was it and he was riding off into the sunset. Um, Daniel Bryan came up the ramp that was filled with superstars, everyone saying their goodbyes. And um, he gave Vince McMahon a big hug and then walked through the pile of the, uh, the crowd uh, into the back. And then as uh, Vince and uh, Triple H started to make their way um, to the back as well as the show was going off the air, you saw Titus O'Neil and Vince McMahon get into a small interaction. Um, you know, I tweeted out Vince uh, versus Titus at WrestleMania. Um, I, I texted my friends um, saying that I thought it was funny. Um, but, uh, I guess the one person who didn't think it was funny was Vince and, uh, people are tweeting today, uh, Triple H's, uh, face reaction as this is going down. And I guess you just don't cross the boss. Um, I honestly find this is a little bit, uh, stepping over the line, um, in WWE's thing for, for them to come out and say that, uh, Titus O'Neil is suspended and he's going to be suspended for 90 days, uh, for having this small interaction with Vince McMahon. Uh, I've always read that, uh, you know, Titus O'Neil um, is somebody who uh, is, and I don't want to say is one, one of Vince's favorites, but Vince is a, is a fan of this guy, and it's one of the guy, the reasons why, you know, this guy, you know, had his, you know, his heel run a few years ago before getting back with the primetime players, and it's probably one of the reasons why he was getting time as a singles uh, now that the primetime players have basically gone their separate separate ways without having a real breakup angle. Um that he was getting wins. People talked about the fact that you know he had had 12 straight wins uh, that were on Raw or SmackDown. Um, uh, that 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 streak was ended uh, that on Monday um, against Adam Rose. But uh, I don't know, uh, honestly. If you think about it as a as a as a wrestling fan, um, you know if, I, I don't blame you if you didn't because the DVD wasn't all that great. But uh, they had that. Uh, it was like WWE Raw after the bell, or it was after Raw, or they had some DVD that came out a few years ago, and it basically talked about, you know, I think everybody's gone to a, to a live show. Uh, they don't really do it for house shows, uh, but they do it for SmackDowns, they do it for Raws. They give you some sort of a fun way of ending the show, whether if it's with the, the main eventer, um, or, or somebody that's on the top of the card. You know, just finds a way to send them home happy. And it's normally nothing really that big. It's normally, you know, two or three minutes of, um, you know, maybe, um, you know, if it, if it was a few years ago and Triple H and DX was still there, they really, they just hit a pedigree on somebody and everybody gets to cheer. And as they're walking out, they talk about how fun the night was. And, uh, you know, the, the show that came on after the Daniel Bryan retirement speech was all over on the WWE uh, network um, was uh, Ride Along, uh, where basically you're in the car with Wade Barrett and Seamus, and then uh, the any the other part of the episode, you were in the car with R Truth, Summer Rae, and Renee Young, and and basically that is like breaking the wall. I mean, there's no more wrestling angles. Um, there's no more good guy, bad guy. It's it's not even Wade Barrett and Seamus. It's whatever their real names are, you know, riding in a car telling stories about what life was like before being in the WWE. You know, this wasn't even on USA. It was on basically after USA had cut them off, saying that the Raw had run over long enough, um, and and they were kicked onto the WWE Network. Um, you know, it wasn't even really a part of the show anymore. The, the The show was over. It was all over and done with. And um, I know that you know you shouldn't cross the boss, but I mean. WWE, I'm sure that in, 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 in the future on the WWE Network, they're going to have, you know, bloopers, bleeps, and, uh, you know, whatever else they're going to, to call some sort of a show. They're, they're probably going to highlight this on, on some sort of uh, WWE countdown somewhere down the road and not even bring up the fact that uh, Titus O'Neil was suspended for doing this. Um, you know, WWE has gone out of their way to, to, to um, you know, do these things to end the shows out before and... Like I said, I didn't think he was really that big. I, I don't understand why you would suspend the guy for 90 days. I'm sure that Titus and um, you know Vince McMahon have joked around in the back, and I don't know what the difference is because it was on the stage as they were walking through. Um, like I said, I, I think they're making a bigger deal than this than, than most people did. Uh, I can't remember if I was ta texting Ravi or Miguel um, once the whole deal was over on Monday about how good it was. 
and I mentioned um, Titus and Vince, and uh, one of them didn't even realize that it happened. I think he was Ravi didn't realize that it happened, and um, Miguel actually you know shot the video on his phone and put it in the the group chat. Um, so, so we could see it, but, uh, I don't know. Suspending the guy for 90 days, a little bit over the line in my book.